I've proven it. Here's what I would say to you. I believe it was a free and fair election and that you lost. You that, don't really believe that's that. That's my belief. Right. Well, then you're How, a fool. However, then you're a fool. maybe I am a fool. Maybe I'm the fool in, in this conversation about And you're it, a fool and you haven't studied it. Okay, I have studied it. Well, maybe I am a fool, but of course I've studied it. I've read a lot about what happened with the 2020 election and I've seen no hard evidence, like I told him, that there was substantial voter fraud. Nobody has seen that. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh. <clears throat> nobody. <clears throat> How do I do Donald Trump? That's right. He's right. Donald Trump. Totally wrong. He's out of the uh, I was trying to do a Donald Trump impersonation. Joe Biden won the election in 2020. Usually, there was no election fraud, no uh, ballot boxes underneath the tables and everything. Okay, um, I can't do impersonations right now. But when I was watching this, um, it's like a two-hour, almost a two-hour interview between uh, Pierce Morgan and uh, Donald Trump. A few days ago, probably. It just came out a few days ago. And, uh, and uh, they were talking about that. And um, YouTube's really strong about it. They take down videos, uh, Trump videos, videos that try to question. So, Susan, I'm not questioning anything that happened. It was totally fair. The 2020 election was fair. It was not rigged. If I say all that, maybe, uh, who knows? I don't know how the AI works, but there. You know, I think about that sometimes because there's um, YouTube has a um, an AI system that um, will flag videos for certain certain things, which things, which exact words and combinations. I don't know. So it's very um, difficult if you don't have the exact algorithm. You, people kind of have uh, bits and pieces, but um, I wasn't this video. Wasn't the interview. It's little bit interesting, uh, kind of simple, uh, made me laugh a little bit when, um, he's, he's like, well, there's no evidence and they're interrupting him. And I, I see a lot of the, a lot of, a lot of the comments are, are attacking Pierce Morgan and they should be. And it reminds me of when he interviewed Alex Jones a long time ago, about 10 years ago, it was like 20. It was uh, pretty um, explosive. Hmm. Don't know if I should continue watching the interview because there's like another hour. This, this is just the end of part one. Could it get any better than that?